Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is an incredible talent who's starring in the new ABC show for life, executive produced by Curtis 50 Cent Jackson. It's getting major buzz and it's inspired by a true story. Let's take a look. They flipped Aaron. Michael's weak, always was, and you know I never trusted Angela. What you want me to say? You were right? Fine, you were right. You feel better? I'm sure Maskins threatened them or made a deal. Whatever it is, it's not good for us. And if Aaron were to plea... We're not talking about a plea. We have to at least weigh all the options. They hinted that they offer 20 years. Please welcome the beautifully talented Joy Bryan. Hi. 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 Hey, you're at the sister circle. <laughs> Yes. Yes. We're so happy to have yes. you Thank here. You for me. You're yes. so, um, as we've stated several times prior to us introducing you, actually, you're beautiful, you're talented, and you've done so much great work from the Antoine Fisher story. But what attracted you to this particular project? Well, um, like anything, it's, it's always the words on the page. Yeah. Um, the story, I, I had a few scripts to read, like what I'm going to audition for, like what can I get? And when I read for life, it was the thing that stood out. It was a standout for me. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even know that it was inspired by a true story. A, a true story. story. I, yes. I just read a really amazing story that is relevant to the times right now. I mean, it's always been relevant, but especially right now. And I had already gone through the audition process before I even found out that this was inspired by Isaac's story. Um, so it was kind of a no-brainer for me. And then finding that out made it just like, oh, okay. Yeah, I, you gotta I, do you, it. Y'all gotta give me this job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, for life, we know it's uh, that 50 Cent is one of the executive producers mm -hmm. of the show. And it's based off of a true story, like mm -hmm. you said. But can you walk us through the premise mm -hmm. of the show? So um, it's a story about a man who was wrongfully convicted and sentenced to life. Mm -hmm. And while he's there, he is determined to prove his innocence and fight to get back to his family. So while he's in prison, he studies the law and ends up representing prisoners in their appeals and their acquittals, all the while building up his own case. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and so your character is so complex because you're the soon-to-be ex-wife, or, or maybe not, and trying to keep your family <laughs> together. Leave him. Right. <laughs> trying to keep your family together. Um, talk to it's us a little bit. It, it's complicated. <laughs> it's complicated. Talk to us about that, knowing the, the underlying meaning of the story, but then making it so personable at the same time. Well, um, Marie, I play Marie Wallace, and she is a woman trying to keep her family together yes. under extraordinary circumstances. Yeah. When we first see, um, on the, in the first episode, uh, Aaron's been in prison for nine years. Mm. And he's about to try his first case. And it's this push and pull. I mean, this is the man that she loves, and if he, if he wasn't locked up, they would still be together. But she also has to figure out how to go on with her life. Yeah. But still support him and their daughter, <laughs> and soon to be grand. <laughs> uh -oh. I'm playing a glam mama. Uh, come on, glam mama. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and you wanted him to take the plea because it only would have been 12 years. I, wanted, I don't want to tell everybody what's going on. I, 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 I'm watching, okay? <laughs> yes. But the, people don't know this about you. You were uh, accepted to Yale. You went to Yale. Mm -hmm. And you were a former model, and you mm -hmm. should still be one if you want to know the truth. <laughs> but Thank people you. would assume that you can't relate to this role. But you also uh, said that there were other, people's that you, other people that you knew that you drew strength from. Right. So tell us about that, how, it, how that correlated into the part that you're playing right now. Well, I, again, one of the things that I connected to with the story on a personal level is that I have loved ones who are formerly incarcerated. Mm -hmm. I have two really good girlfriends whose partners were formerly incarcerated, mm. and we've been friends for a really long time, longer than we have not been friends. Right. So I know what it was like. I remember what it was like for them when they were going through the bid, because they did the bid with their mate, and the sacrifices they made, yes. and how difficult it was for them to keep that, that love connection together. Mm. Um, one of my friends, lived in one state and her partner was locked up five states. I mean, she planes, trains, and automobiles to go see her man. Gosh. And um, so I, I was able to lean into that. I didn't have to travel too far to understand um, many of the, um, you know, the issues and the, the difficulties that a, that a person like Marie, my character, would experience. Yeah. Well, how, do you, how do you think we get uh, the average American to change their perspective or, or to even have more compassion on a person who's been incarcerated, especially when they've been wrongfully charged? Mm. Well, I think that, like, a show like ours is, 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 a, is a good starting, is a good place to, to start from. I think it's the right show at the right time. Mm. Five years ago, it probably wouldn't have made it. Yeah. But while 
there, there have always been people at the front lines for the fight for criminal justice reform. Um, uh, now it's become a bit more of a mainstream it is. topic, right? That's when right. you have Republicans and Democrats come, both complicit in, how, in why the system is the way that it is, but right. also coming together to recognize, okay, yeah. some changes need to be made. So I think with that and also shows like ours and, and stories like Isaac, um, I think people can really kind of put a human face. It's easy to, to think of people as animals, regardless of innocence or guilt. They're yeah, human beings. that's right. When we come back, we'll have more with the lovely Joy Bryant. Aaron, there is something you need to understand. I have won cases with people dead guilty, and I've lost cases with totally innocent people. I don't have to remind you how the system is stacked against you, and we have two principal parties that have flipped. We are back on Sister Circle Live with actress Joy Bryant, and we are talking her new ABC drama, For Life. Yes, yes. yes. So uh, coming up in just a moment, we're going to talk uh, prison reform with uh, Benjamin Crump. And having worked on this project, what did you learn, what surprised you the most about learning about this process and people being wrongfully accused? Um, I guess what's surprising is that, I mean, on one level I knew that this was, that, that people are wrongfully, wrongfully, wrongfully um, accused and convicted all the time. I mean, people are, are sentenced to death, yeah. mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, just didn't know how many, didn't realize yeah. how many. And then also to really put a face on it with Isaac. I mean, his story is extraordinary. Mm -hmm. um, but knowing what he went through, there's nothing that we can even put in the show that's even going to compare yes. to the horrors that mm -hmm. he endured. You know, I think yeah. his story is, is, is heartbreaking and triumphant, like yes. our story mm, yes. as a people is. I, yes. you know? I mean, wow, yeah. Um, and it's like you think you know something, or you think you know, but you don't really know the, the full scope of the issue until you can, you know. Yeah, but you've had the opportunity to meet yes. Isaac Wright Jr., who yes. is, you know, the real life, you yes. know, between Aaron Wallace. Yes. So what was that like for you? Oh, he's wonderful. I mean, he's just such a generous, wonderful man. I mean, to, to, to know what he endured and the strength and the will that it took for him to, 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 keep, to keep hope alive in the face of insurmountable odds. Yes. I mean, again, heartbreaking and triumphant. Um, I don't know. It just he. It reminds me of like Twelve Years a Slave. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And and I think the story of our ancestors of of in the face of tremendous odds, keeping that hope alive that their their like justice is 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 attainable. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because without hope, nothing is possible. Nothing is possible. And that and with, man is a hopeful man. Right. Oh. And without joy, there's no Bryant. Oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Oh, you're so lovely. Yes, so, so lovely. So, yes. I, can I take that? You like yes, that? You can. Yes. Tell me, Rashawn Ali sent you. And thank you so much for being here today. You're thank always you. welcome on the circle. Yes. And Life for Life actually airs on ABC on Tuesday nights.